I'm new at 430 police in Hartford investigating a murder suicide. This happened last night on Russ Street and all of this coming as the capital city has seen an uptick in crime and domestic violence related incidents. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live at the Hartford Public Safety Complex with a closer look. Aya. Aaron and Mark, so far this year, there have been 21 homicides in Hartford, the most recent one taking place on Monday night on Russ Street, and people in the community are expressing their frustration and concern. Now, Hartford police have identified the couple found dead in that Russ Street apartment complex. The victim is 24-year-old Crystal Cooper, and her partner is 35-year-old Irving Lawler. Family members called police to conduct a wellness check last night, and that's when the two were found inside the apartment with gunshot wounds. The couple had recently just moved into that apartment complex, and this is the second deadly domestic incident in Hartford in the last week. Last Monday, a 64-year-old woman was shot and killed by her partner in a domestic-related incident on Oakland Terrace. I spoke with Interval House today, which is Connecticut's largest domestic violence agency. President Mary Jane Foster says they've seen a 33% increase in need since the pandemic. We have seen some terrible, tragic cases here just in, in our region just in the last couple of weeks. And so that's a real concern. Um, four homicides in, in just a couple of weeks this is more than really anyone should have to bear. And Interval House has a hotline for anyone who needs help or has any questions. That number is on your screen right now. It's 860-838-8467. Again, 860-838-8467. And this all comes as Hartford is getting ready to elect a new mayor. We spoke with the newly endorsed Democratic candidate for mayor. Uh, you're going to hear from him and what he has to say about he plans to tackle crime in the city if elected. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6 p.m. For now, reporting live in Hartford, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Hey, we'll see you at 6.